Hello and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. We are live here on the TF Talk Facebook page. I'm here with Christian and Anna. And this is Lucas. Hi. Good evening, everyone. So, uh, it looks like Anna, you have uh, RC writing Snapdragon there? I do. I had to improve it by making it weird. So I made RC ride stuff jargon. That is more exciting. Yeah, I was noticing how not terrible that scale is. Kind of no, crazy. it's not really. Like, I mean, it would be better if she didn't. I actually turned my sound on to myself. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm so much better. Now, I was going to say I had to improve it by putting the guns on his back, his little wings. But I think it'll actually be a better seat if I remove them. Yeah, it's way better. Now she can get that butt down on it. There we go. See, that's wow. some that's some dragon ride in action right there. Did you know that RC straight up hates Snapdragon? <laughs> well, they're friends now. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're Dude, opposing Patrick. factions, so well, whatever. She's got a specific vendetta against Snapdragon. Listeners, if you know that, drop in the chat. Uh, it's going to be something awful, isn't it? It's going to be for the comics. It's going to be something super nope. disturbing. It's from the show. Oh, well, good. Slightly less disturbing, then? It's not really that disturbing. Oh, well, that's good. I'll reveal it at the end of the show if no one says anything about it. I hope it isn't as simple as I don't like lizards. Nope. Good guess. I tried. So, yes, we're talking tonight not about RC at all. I just brought her because it was fun to make her write Snap Jargon. Talking about this. Oh, wow. They're saying you're making things up, Christian. I'm not making things up. What? They're saying he's making things up. I'm not getting so, the messages. That's what I hear. So, yeah, I guess we both have him in his uh, beast mode here, so... Yeah, it looks like we do. Oh, yeah, I'm in jet mode. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You didn't get the memo, <laughs> Christian. You didn't get the memo. I said I was going to jet, and you were supposed to go to robot. Well, I mean, this this figure is not that hard to transform, so... I, 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 I assumed, I, assumed I, I was going to go ahead and just do it while we were doing the review. Christian here. and I will talk about the toy while you transform it. Carry at, on. at some point in the 50 minutes that we go here, I think I can make it back, make it to another mode. Oh no. It's iffy. So let's start with what Christian's holding because he's holding the mode that most people are going to be like not thinking about, which is the jet mode, which yep. is kind of sort of the best looking mode in a lot of ways. It's if neat. you ask it's a Anna. future jet. It really is. It really oh. is. It looks like it should go hang out with the Vic Viper and shoot the core. I don't know what that means. The Gradius reference. My apologies. I don't know what that is. It's a video game. Okay, cool. It's got a little cockpit for Crunk to hang out in. So mine's really tight. But it annoys me that that cockpit that they have the little snaps in there with the uh, clear plastic. Because <laughs> I'm worried it's gonna break. Oh at some yeah, point. it is. It's gonna be great. And so the other thing I can show while I've got it is the cockpit. It's painted. It has detailing. It's it painted. Died. It's got a control panel. That, that's everything. my favorite part about this mode is is it's like I just awesome. I love that they actually went in and like put details on the cockpit. Yeah, so they didn't need to. Neat. No one would have said anything if they didn't, but they did. No, no one would have said anything. It also has a landing gear. This doesn't roll, but it does exist, which is cool. That's nice. Yeah, it does have a landing gear. We've we're actually looking for that for a while. It's actually inside of his tail in Dragonsaurus mode. It's a cool little future jet. The colors work together well here. Yeah. The yellow is a nice accent. The green here is a nice accent. The purple on the thrusters is really great. Cool future yeah, I jet. Really, I, I really it. like how it looks. I, I also like how the cockpit opens in theory because it's fun. But I do worry, just like you guys said, that it's going to break eventually. Oh, yeah. If I play with it a lot, which, you know, it's kind of fun. So I kind of want to. 
What else? I, I don't first? think what I'm going to use that cockpit feature for, you know, much after like <clears throat> the first couple times. I, so it's probably not really going to be an issue. It's probably the right choice, honestly, yeah. is to avoid it. Not because it's not cool, not because it doesn't look good, but because it's probably a bit fragile. It's okay, though. Yeah, the mm -hmm. colors are really good. It's really well made. Um, it honestly, like, as far as Cybertronian jets, as far as Transformers that fold into airplanes, it really doesn't have robot heating off of it, you know? It's actually pretty clean. The robot chest is there. You can see the legs if you turn them upside down. Yeah. But it's not like a whole robot hanging oh. off like half the seekers that we get. You know, it's it's a lot cleaner than it could have been. Pretty clean. That's pretty good. And spoiler, it's definitely my favorite mode on the whole figure. I don't know. I mean... That that doesn't bode well. Compared to like Eight Face, right? Like we're like I don't know. I was not a huge fan of the alt modes. Like the whatever the jet that you call for Eight Face, like was not not that great. So like this one's a lot better. The jet was not great on Eight Face. That is true. The I like both other modes on Eight Face, but I don't like the jet. I like. I'm not saying that that's my favorite mode, and it's a it's a low it's a low bar because I like dinosaur mode too. Dinosaur dragon, whatever. Cool jet. But let's talk about the dinosaur dragon. Sure. We'll move over to the dinosaur dragon. So the dinosaur dragon is like, I mean, gosh, there's a lot to, there's a lot to think about it. Like, I'm pretty sure this isn't too far away from the G1 design. I've never actually owned the G1 design. I have two Snapdragon toys and they look nothing alike, really in the dragon mode, so I guess this is reasonably close. <laughs> you can see the colors are pretty good. Um, it's the same colors as the jet mode, mostly. I think people are going to are going to have thoughts about the dinosaur arms. You know, they're they're little T Rex arms. They don't do very much. They have you know a couple joints on them. They move in the ways they have to. There's a ball joint on the elbow. And then just simple rotation on the shoulder. So, you know, it moves enough. You can make them like... I don't know. I mean, for tiny T-Rex arms, I don't think they're too bad. They're not the worst tiny T-Rex arms we've ever gotten. That is true. As much as that means to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean... Right? Yeah. You tried. You tried. It's, it's a good thing to do. So, you know, he has arm articulation. There's no tell articulation, unfortunately, really. Like, you can move the tip, I guess. Zay, you can, you can move the tip. It's neat. So. I think it'd be fun if it could waggle left and right. But Yeah, you know, no, I, that is a little annoying. Like, I kind of wish the, like, main part of the tail, like, you can move up. But you can't really, like, just the way, the way it is with, like, the chest and it pigging in, you can't really move it or it's just going to... I mean, I guess technically you could unpeg the chest part and then kind of move it up. But even when you do that, it kind of splits apart. Like, so if you took yeah. the chest and had it hanging out here and then did that, and then it kind of splits and I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, I don't think the guns are technically supposed to go on the back, are they? But they do. Yes. Are they supposed to? Yeah, instructions. Like, where are they supposed okay. to go? I don't know. The the bin where you put all your accessories. You guys always talk about just throwing them uh, in the bin. No, like that's what I don't like that on a figure. Like it annoys me if there's no accessory storage because right, they have to right. put them in a bin. And once they go in a bin, like they will never be found again. Like it's agreed. You know, whatever. Great bin. Randall pointed out one thing that we do have to talk about with this figure. And I don't know if this is actually, because I didn't check the G1 one just to see how much the G1 actually looks like a dragon. But this is definitely a dinosaur. <laughs> and it's kind of amusing. Like, he definitely so, see, has a lot in common with Grimlock. So I was going to say, one thing One thing about this Grimlock, this Power of the Primes Grimlock is, is like, you <laughs> technically can get the tail to articulate oh, yeah, where the transformation can. is. So... You know, so the the horror cons are inspired by Godzilla and Kong. 
Mm, okay. That's what they're going after. Godzilla's a bit of a dinosaur himself. Bit of a dinosaur, bit of a dragon. As much yeah. as a rubber suit monster can be either of those things. Yep. So it really needs to stand up a little bit more. It's, you know, it has the arms, the robot mode arms or the legs. So technically you can get quite a bit of articulation off these as more than you would really want in weird lizard legs, but it works. You know, the feet aren't going to do anything for you because they're actually the hands folded around backwards. It does have knees. It does have knees. Yeah, does that, have knees. that is true. And that lets you fold the legs around backwards if you want that look. I I actually would argue that in some ways it looks better with the legs folded back, but in some ways it doesn't. So it's just kind of like you have to figure out how you like to have it stand as it works best for you. I thought that is it, the headmaster going in for the jaw, I thought was like a little bit different. Like, have we seen another figure where the way that it plugs in? Like, so this kind of does it but snapdragon does it worse so like (laughs) the head like it it plugs into the top like using the head so you actually get some like jaw articulation i guess like jaw articulation where it's really easy to actually tear it off yeah i had a hard time getting in there too okay cool yeah and like so rob just mentioned imagination and I'll say that you have to put a little of that said imagination into thinking that this is a proper head. It is a little bit of a stretch because you can see a little bit of the robot face, just the way it's proportioned in there. It makes yeah. the head a little bit strange. It's not terrible. It's still fun. I love the fact that it uses the headmaster in a weird way. You know, it has right. teeth on the inside of the headmaster legs so they can have bottom teeth. It's super cool. It just doesn't come off with as persuasive as a head. I I can, as like, a the headmaster, I don't know if you can actually see it. Like the eyes are painted, which I always like. That's I'm always a painted. It's always a nice feature. Yeah, like this headmaster is actually pretty well painted overall. Like you know, the head the head looks pretty nice. The head on a I don't know. Yeah, Chad's kind of echoing what Christian and I were saying. Plugging it in is not comfortable. The way the head fits in there is just, it's not great. It definitely doesn't fit in there nice and snugly like it does on the robot neck. It definitely fits in there a lot more awkwardly. So, you know, that might be an annoyance for you. You might not care because it might see this mode once and then go back into robot mode and go on your shelf. Or more accurately, go into jet mode and hang from your ceiling as a cool space battle scene. Catherine says we have it in wrong. What what is what do we have wrong on it? How's it wrong? I don't have it in at all. Just you don't. Uh, I'm yes, Christian. You I, I like was doing Aren't fine before. Like when I tra- when I transformed it before, I was did not have any issues plugging it in. But then somehow now I, I do. So I feel like mine was the way it looked on the box, but that's all I looked at. <laughs> for that well maybe we'll figure it out maybe we'll grow as people right. so you know the problem i ran into with this guy as far as the dragon mode or dinosaur mode or whatever the heck it is is just that i have this old legends figure of snapdragon right and you know here he is with his little wings and his tiny dino- dragon head and the profile and everything. And this is just, I like this better. I like the way it looks better like this. And so that kind of, that kind of gives me a little bit of dissonance when it comes to liking this. Cause I feel like the way they did the head actually worked better. Now it definitely makes less of a headmaster cause it would just have a dinosaur on the back of it, but it works. Yes, Catherine did share in Discord. I will look, I promise, but it's hard. I mean, Just I don't know. Like, I, I kind of, I, I don't have any issues with the, the way the head is on this one. I mean, I think it's fine. You think Let's, that's how it's supposed to go? 
Well, I mean, you could do it either way. Like, so the head articulates, the legs articulate, and so there's a couple, like, I mean, you can pretty much open it up however you want. Like, you can yeah. have it like this. I mean, it's it's your figure. Display it how you want. Like that? I mean, That's closer jawed than Anna's is. Like, yeah, it's hard to get back in there. I don't know. You have it where the red jaw goes past the white part, right? I believe. Yeah. Lucas had his clothes somehow. That was cool. Like that? Like clothes like that? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I've got mine generally. You do it like that. He has a bit of a um, jaw then. You know, I, I guess there are multiple ways to put the head. I'd say extended, like I had it, definitely causes the whole illusion of it actually being a head to come off kind of awkward. It, it is weird to get it posed in there the way you want it. Um, I think really what you have to do is just fiddle with it until it looks the most like a head it possibly can to you. So that's my thought of it. I don't know. I'm curious because uh, X-Transbots released... Uh, a figure of this, right? So, like, how is... Did they not? Or KFC? KFC. Okay, whatever. So, um... <laughs> well, KFC and X-Transbots are, like, the same parent company. So, um... The KFC one, how does that look compared to this? I hope it looks better. It's very expensive. Oh, uh, so... Apparently, I uh, I did it wrong because I haven't flipped the arms up. So, like, the arms... Oh, yeah, uh, the arms do have to flip up. That is Yeah, that is a thing. I didn't do that, and I apologize about that, Randall. I, I was... Uh... Wait a minute here. Yeah, I would say, like, what Catherine pointed out before is really just, like, the position in the leg can make it look better or worse. Like, the way I just did it makes it look terrible. Intentionally. Right? Like, now his jaw, like, folds uh, up. Yeah, on his... but I mean, it has more articulation. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you, you can do different things, like, with that, whereas, like, your other third-party one you're talking about there. Yeah, like, no, you can't. Can. The jaw only opens and closes. It's just, like, you can close the mouth. And he says, oh, I'm mad about being a dragon. Or you know, open his mouth and he says, I'm hungry about being a dragon. Or I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. Well, what, it's good what that is, we've had What is Rob? Rob is complaining about me in the chat, apparently. What's yes. wrong, Rob? That it's craft. Why, why did I, I, I... Because you? I think it's because you dared to mistransform it, Lucas. I've been oh, forgiven. No. Randall called it a poison, a posing error for me. But for you, it was just a straight transformation error. Mm. Okay. Just the rawness of the ROM. It's okay. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, well I'm going to go to robot mode here. So the dragon mode is pretty fun, right? Through this like, dragon it, mode. It's not beautiful. It's got its problems. You know, the upper torso is way skittier than the lower torso. If that looks bad for you, it's going to bug you in person. I got oh, over it. Oh, I, I get an F minus on my transformation. There, there we go. Wow. That's a great. Okay. Man. So, I mean, the one thing I'll say is, is like literally every triple changer probably like cannot, like there's one mode that always suffers. Um, so. And I'd say it's the robot mode here. Haha. <laughs> oh, I think the robot okay. mode's fine. I mean, other than, mm. I guess we'll get to it, but. Ta-da, I beat you. Good job, Christian. Oh. About it. I would agree with Anna that the robot mode suffers the most out of the three modes. But in general, I'm going to go against Lucas and say that although he's right and most triple changers do have to sacrifice a mode, this one doesn't really sacrifice too heavily in any of the modes. Like He is fine in all three modes. To me. Yeah, fine. Fine is the right word. Um... You know, this is accurate to G1 and stuff, but I don't really like that he loses a lot of his accent colors uh -oh. in this mode. 
in dragon mode and in jet mode, there's you can see more of that yellow, you see more of that green or blue, teal, whatever color that is. And this one, it's really just black and purple and uh, the white. Rick says he thinks that this is on par with the Masterpiece version. Really? So I, I'm assuming he's talking about the KFC one. I'm assuming. So... See, now, I think it's a little bit worse than the Legends version, uh, but that's Well, of me. course you do, because you're like this Legends elitist, you know. <laughs> elitist? Okay, first off, technically, because originally you could buy the two-pack well, for $40 actually. for these. This one isn't actually more expensive, and it's way cooler, because it has wings and it's dragon flies. Ta-da! Done. There you go. Childish explanation away. They are toys. You could have Chance's explanation. Thank you for your permission, Lord Christian. Sure. <laughs> um, uh, people are going to be annoyed that it doesn't have a full elbow articulation. It just doesn't. Yeah. It goes, it goes that. It, it does it, not. It should have a double joint. It doesn't. And it's not. It's not horrible. That's what it can do. It's fine, but it, yeah, there, there needs to be a double joint. There. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, in the chat, Ron, uh, I just saw that was was asking me if I if I check the uh, prime versus prime or whatever to teach the transformation. See, this is mm. I, was, I was talking it up and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna transform on a camera, and then I yeah, and then both the other two did it easily, and you're like, oh, this is too hard. No, I'm just. I I'm said I've done it there. easily, but I'm not done yet. I'm, I'm getting there. It, it took me, like, no time to do it, though, because I'm such an expert at freaking Transformers. Yeah. I just I forgot to do the arms, and then I had to plug those in. Okay. I also forgot that step. Yeah. And he does need arms, or else he'll be judged as not having robot arms. Other transformers are mean about that. Yep. So he said. So yeah, mine's done. It just doesn't have a head because it doesn't need one. He doesn't need a head. I think he's got two giant con symbols on his chest. I think it's great. And uh, the Tampodon. Right? The the chest symbols are Tampodon. Like, they're not like Mm -hmm. crappy stickers. So that's nice. Yep. We haven't had crappy stickers in quite a long time, which is great. That's nice. Yeah, so this robot mode, like, it is very robot You know, like, I, I guess the squatness, the very, like, square look he has there, I guess that's... Is that G1 accurate? Is that the way he looked in the cartoon? More or less. I haven't checked him out too much. He spent most of his time in beast mode, so... That's what beast like characters tend to do. It's kind of an amusing thing to Transformers. You really like to be animal modes if they have them. So yeah, the elbows is definitely what most people are going to complain about. Someone also mentioned to me the shoulders were limited. I don't think the shoulders are a problem at all. One of my shoulders wasn't tabbed yeah. in. That is the problem. Huh? Anna thinks that sh- the shoulders of something are okay? The shoulders are <laughs> the right place. Ooh, right the shoulders are in the correct place. Don't put the shoulders in the wrong spot. These are correct. These are good shoulders. Shoulders yeah, are fine. Shoulders. Elbows suck. Um, I mean, it's it's all just because of the ki- like kibble, I guess, on the figure. I guess yeah, I um, guess it could have pulled out a little bit further, um, and then <laughs> you'd be okay. But I think it could have been fixed. I think it probably would have been expensive to make it better. So whatever. It's fine. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't keep you from enjoying the figure. And you can pose it otherwise. Yeah. You can still pose it. Mm. Yeah, it's not horribly limited. It's just that's what no. people are going to complain about. And there's going to be no wrist articulation. The elbows are limited. The arms are going to be a little rough because of that. The legs are fine. There's really nothing to complain about there. The it's feet are kind of small and awkward. But I mean, they, they do... The feet... You do get a good range of articulation, though. Yeah. I mean, you get your ankles, uh, which is nice. And then, you know, kind of, it'll flip one way, do the transformation, but right. it doesn't really flip the other way. But 
they don't look beautiful. The feet don't look beautiful, but they work. They're feet. And I will say that, you know, compared to a lot of other figures that come out recently that I'll complain about in the future, he doesn't really have a whole lot of hollowness. You know, like the legs, if you wanted yeah. to stretch it and be like, look, it's hollow there, you could do yeah. it, but you don't need to because they're fine. You know, it covers it up reasonably well. The arms have no hollowness, but also, to be honest, the arms barely transform between the bones, right? Like, it's really just like the, the flips hand. Down the, the, yeah, it the, flips. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just the same. Yep. So yeah. there's not going to be hollowness in the arms. Plus and minus at the same time. Hollowness on the side is fine, and the front is very nice looking. Yeah, I mean, I think that the elbows just don't go 90 degrees is, like, what the issue is, or more than that. So, like, <coughs> we're used to some of the newer figures where, like, you know, you bend the elbow like that. But, like, this one, just because of the articulation, or um, because of, like, how big they are, it can't go 90 degrees, so. And I think that's, that's kind of like, so I recently, and those of you who watch the show know that I do these tins, tins of things. I recently bought a big amount of kind of, not really KO figures, but not really Transformers. You know, there are other brands from other lines that are not technically Transformers, but they're still Transforming robots. And it really, really illustrates how spoiled we are on the articulation that has row pulls off from figure to figure to figure. Because a lot of them have, you know, innovative transformations. They're neat. They have a cool profile in robot mode. They have nice vehicle modes. But then when you get to robot mode, it's like, ooh, this looks really cool. You go to move it and, like, the hips don't go outward because that was a sacrifice of getting it to look how it looks. Or the arms don't really have much in the ways of elbows because and not even, like, his level of elbow. He has worse elbows. Um those are the kind of sacrifices you see in other lines. So it really does make you appreciate the fact that they're just like every toy is going to have this many points of articulation. It's going to move around and it's going to be kind of humanoid. And it's pretty cool. So Rick was wondering, uh, will we get this in shattered glass colors? And if so, what would those colors be? Um, and Randall says in response that we should get it in Grimlock colors. My colors. I, I think I, w I would kind of like twin cast colors. I think that'd look kind of neat. It'd look neat. The problem with these guys and with a lot of the Voyagers is just they really don't have great repaintability. Like, I don't know what you're going to make these two into. And then, oh, I can grab my ape face because he's right down here. Oh, Rick has another of... interesting oh. point. He's wondering... Have they sacrificed any of their design Honestly, for articulation? So, like, all the articulation they're putting in the figures now, like, is some of that design? Because, like, okay. I mean, you have a certain amount of parts count you can have, right? And so, because of that, like, we've gotten a lot more parts formers, um, I, I feel like. So, I'm, I don't know if that, like, kind of, you know, the parts formers thing is went into it, or if they're just like, oh, screw it, we'll call it a shield, and... And now you see the two of them together. Yeah, I don't know about that either. Like, I can't think. Um... Oh, he asked me specifically if I think they sacrifice design for articulation. I don't think exactly sacrifice design. Really? I, I don't know. Like, I think one thing they have sacrificed is variety in transformations and just in the way the figures work. Like, there's a lot more commonalities for the sake of the articulation. That's not bad, though. Well, I think part of that is, is, like, I'm assuming that's saving on some of their mold costs. So, like, right. Hasbro, you know, everyone, com well, not everyone, Christian didn't complain, but, like, a lot of people in Combiner Wars complained about the fact that the molds were exactly the same. And mm -hmm. they just, you know, repainted them or whatnot. And so, like, the new scheme they've... <laughs> the new thing they've come up with, it seems like that uh, they have similar like transformations and whatnot um, and using the same kind of base transformation and then remolding a lot of the parts. So you're seeing that like that wheel jack mold is like been used or the cliff jumper mold have been used in several right. different figures. 
No, I think I think the only sacrifice I would point out is that like arms transform like arms and legs transform like legs. There's just a lot of commonalities there. I don't think that's a bad thing in particular. I just think that people who are trying to do something different are often going to be making choice for other toy lines. I mean, the thing really, it, I feel like they're new figures. It seems like they've taken a lot of cues from either Masterpiece or Third Party and put them in and kind of simplified it down like it's lower parts yeah. count. But, <clears throat> and I've actually enjoyed that because it's like, oh, cool. Like, I remember when, you know, Wheeljack did this in the Masterpiece and then now yeah. I get to experience in a mainline toy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's great. You know, it take the best pieces of the past and inform the future with them. Right. Yeah. I would like to have wrist articulation make a comeback. I'm really missing wrist articulation. Yeah. It's, it's getting a little sad not to have it these days. I, I, I really I, don't mind. I mean, honestly, like, compared to everything else, like, I would much rather have, like, ankle articulation is number one. I guess of like the extra stuff. Like I really enjoy that. Um, like waist articulation is kind of nice, at least a limited mm -hmm. amount uh, and head articulation. Like I, I feel like wrist, like I would like to have it in there, but like on the list of, you know, if you give me everything else, like I'm fine with not, you know, having it. I was curious how I would feel about this type of wrist articulation instead of rotation. The RC style where it goes just up and down. And I definitely want the rotation. I definitely want the wrist to spin. I, there isn't really a whole... There's some specific poses you can get out of her hands because of that, but it's not amazing. We'll talk about her soon enough. I don't want to... Yeah, I was going to say. Her her, too much. We can just go two hours. Like, turn this into an RC review as well. <laughs> That's okay. Be, it's going to be an RC mega show. And hopefully we'll do it before I get nicey. Oh geez. This is a recommend from me, but if you want to compare it to the rest of the Voyagers in the line, which so far just grapple in the Seekers, it, uh, uh, Snapdragon is definitely the worst of the three. Um, what are you talking one? about, Christian? Oh well, sorry. The rest not all of the this Voyagers so in the line, like there's another one in this wave. Fine. Well, I don't have that one because I don't live in the middle of the country. Just send you mine, Christian. I don't even want it. <laughs> uh. All right, so of the three that I have, which would be the Seekers, Grapple, and Snapdragon. Snapdragon is the worst, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean he's bad. It just means that the other two are really great. Snapdragon's like a very specific, like one-of-a-kind character that we'll, we won't get again. So you definitely need him in your collection. I'm happy to have him. Ape Face is happy to have him around. Uh, de definitely go get him. But going going back to Siege, like comparing him to like Soundwave or comparing better. him to um, Springer. The Springer. Springer. Better. God, yeah. so much better than Springer. God, the toy's horrible. I hate it so much. No, I actually think this is a pretty good Voyager. I have to Springer's disagree with you a little bit. Bad. Like but then again, like you are comparing it to like okay, so like I mentioned it before, but like the grapple inferno build is like my favorite Transformer build ever. So I'm always going to love a Grapple Inferno toy more than other toys of its side scale. Like my Legends one is one of my favorite toys because it's it's that character, it's that design, but it's very small and easy to play with. So I like it the most. The Masterpiece ones are also super cool, um, even though the official Masterpiece is kind of annoying. But like that one I'm going to be biased towards. But I definitely think it's a more fun toy than owning the Seeker Mold, for instance. You know, like the Seeker Mold is missing a point of articulation I really enjoy in the waist. It is kind of just blocky and bland. And this thing turns into a Dragon Source. And that makes it amusing. And also a Gradius ship, which I also like. So it's a recommend for me, obviously. Like, I enjoy having it. I think there's definite flaws. And if you're someone like me who can have these, like, really quirky deal breaker moments with toys and displays, like... I want, whoops, there goes you for a dive. Um, I, I like, it's like, you can really have these deal breaker moments and he just kind of screwed over. His deal broke, but it did it. He's fine. See, I'm fine. I was going to say, though. Want, I'm sorry, you go. I was just going to say, I really want something else to replace this. Like, I want someone just to recast this with a different plastic 
for the grayish, whitish, offish thing. Because I really, really like Ape Face. I just can't stand the coloration. Whereas Snapdragon doesn't have that problem. So where I think I enjoyed this mold more, I definitely enjoyed this toy more because it doesn't make me angry to look at it. I was actually going somewhere similar, although I still don't see what you guys have against that Ape Face plastic. I think it's great. (laughs) But I would like an Ape Face to go with this that isn't covered in space mud. (laughs) So, so probably if that happens, we both can get what we want. Which, uh, yeah, that would be great. Which ape face would you rather have? Or I'm sorry, would you rather have ape face over Snapdragon or Snapdragon over ape face, Christian? I can't choose. You have to as have they together. are Snapdragon. I answered. My name is not Christian. It is Anna. So yeah, I I would prefer Snapdragon over Eight Face myself. Like I'm just not only, a huge fan of that. Only thing because of the either. plastic. I actually really like the Ape mode on Eight Face. I think it is fun and goofy. I really like the robot mode on Eight Face. I think it is a really cool looking robot, and the jet is whatever. So I really like Eight Face more. It's just that plastic kills it for me. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. I've Can't you all just it. not wait to hear me talk about God Neptune when it comes out? Oh, <laughs> I wish you ordered that thing. I'm Why did so you angry. order it is what I want to know. Like, that's the know. thing I don't understand. Somehow, like, you... Like, um, the Pranacon and the Seacons were so much better, like, just to get that set. But you, like, got half of that set and then decided to order the whole thing of God Neptune. It's like... I don't know, Lucas. That's a that's a question for another existence. <laughs> Did anyone answer my trivia question? Because I'll reveal the answer now if they didn't. Uh, I believe Randall, I believe, mentioned something oh, about him being something about him being mean to Daniel. Yep, that's it. Okay. Congrats. There you go. And Randall you know, got Bell, it. which means that he didn't succeed. He, he, if it was not a children's show, he definitely would have. He bit the crap out of him. Ooh, good. I mean, that's so sad. He's a it as a child. Well, D- Daniel was dying until they did the headmaster process on him, turning him into R.C.'s headmaster. Well, that is the tragedy. Yep. See, there you go. okay. I have to com- comment to both of our comments here. First off, Catherine, thank you so much for validating my beliefs about the plastic, because the plastic is garbage. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Robert also called it soap plastic. Thank you. I also call you Robert when I see your name out loud, which is funny. I always laugh at Lucas for that. And then, finally, um, I will definitely hate it. That is true. Oh, someone mentioned that I got it because I wanted the squid girl. And maybe there's a little bit of that. But, like, once I actually had that mold in hand, out of the um, Seacons that I have, that's the one I want to sell. I don't like it <laughs> i don't know why i like the other Wait, ones I so have. you're gonna sell one piece of I of a combined know. Maybe set how do you kill. do Who knows like, no i'm not gonna that? sell the the one from the new one i'm gonna okay. sell tend to kill maybe one. okay maybe we'll see the colors are so pretty but i just don't like the toy i'm still sad they didn't take the opportunity to make pirate not later after all this time i know that would have been way cooler because that is one of the coolest molds that's come out of all the combiner molds. It is so wasn't neat. in the original set. I don't care. He can be now. I'm usually the one who's like, G1, who cares? So I congratulate you. So are you guys sad that there's no more Transformers Tuesdays to pre-order yes. some other junk? I am so sad. I'm, I'm sure we'll have I'm more, more things sad to pre-order. About the- I'm more sad about the Vulcan- Vulcanicus reveal not being something more fun. You know, a lot of us were studying around hypothesizing. It's going to be this, and it's going to be that. It's going to be Monstructor. It's going to be Dino Heen. It's going to be interesting. One of my friends was going on about rejected, canceled G2 Dinobot designs, like the weird colors that are out there. He was like, it's definitely going to be that. Not at all. <laughs> it is just... Nice. Prettier I mean, Dinobots. They look good. I oh, they're way better. Dollars need them over the one. I mean, I have. suppose the studio series on the way. They're cool. If you want the nicest looking official versions of those of the Dinobots, other than Grimlock, because Grimlock at Masterpiece looks better, but 
of of the other limbs or whatever. I guess that the set is for you. So the the new swords are cool. The new feet are cool. If they had sold just an upgrade kit of those, I probably would have gotten them. But uh, you know, unless this goes on massive clearance or we find out that the studio series rumors are false, uh, I am going to be out. Christian, so, I have a question. Can you okay. says that eight fish is beans. Is beans a bad thing? I was going to ask the same question. Is, <laughs> is this bad that he's a bean? Who said that? Oh, Peter. Peter. He said eight fish oh, yeah, is beans, but snap We're being playful. We both know it means bad. Oh, Destron. You're not allowed but to But let me tell bad. you, though, what you could think of is maybe he's right because when you cook them, um, oh, what kind of beans? Is it navy beans? They get kind of that like weird, clear, off-whitish color to them that's kind of similar to his plastic. So he is, in fact, beans. Thank you, Peter. Gotcha. I'm sure that's what he meant. There you go. I'm so thrilled with Christian's reaction right now. I just, so, I'm trying to figure out how to react. I just haven't figured it out yet. And I, I don't get it. Peter would have uh, gotten my trivia question. Catherine was asking, like, what official Shattered Glass have we gotten so far? Like, I know we got the Masterpiece you can. Prime. Um, have, like, I guess it depends on if you count the BotCon Club stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, those are all official, but... Yeah, so I, I don't know what Shatter Glass they've done. But what I, know what she's, done, so. I think what she's probably asking is what recently, what, it's MP10 SG, it's this two-pack, and it's Rodimus Unicronus from Power of the Primes. Mm, yeah, Rodimus, you're right. Mm. That was mainstream I, Shattered Glass nonsense. I forget about that, too. So I, I'm surprised that they're still doing Shatter Glass, though, at this point. But I, know. I guess maybe it's like you need another repaint, so I... I like, I just hope they keep going. Like, because that's the thing for yeah. me. It's like, I don't want, like, one or two or whatever. Like, I want a shelf of shattered glass or, you know, whatever. So, yeah, I hope they just keep it up. It's weird to have just three. Yeah. I don't want a shelf of it, but I like the colors in that ratchet. It's pretty. I did like that the email that went out on, from Pulse today said that uh, it's from the IDW comics. No, it is not. <laughs> They have never appeared in IDW. Maybe it's for they the future. Should. Oh, maybe it's for the new comics, Christian. Go read them all to find out. Nope. We'll oh, I, I also have a question. How much longer am I going to get free shipping from Hasbro Pulse? Like, is it just going to be it's like up forever? this month, right? Seventy-two minutes. Is it to the end of to to uh, until PulseCon or whatever? I think. Oh, I bet. I don't know if they're just going to be like, surprise, you get it ex- extended another year. Because, like, I would yeah. be totally Pulse down Pulsecon attendees get it extended a year. Yay. <laughs> right. I say, like, I am they have to let more people in at some shipping, point, though. But, like, it's kind of crazy that, like, what was it like? Like, not this February, last February. February of 19, yeah. Yeah, that we got free shipping. And they're like, oh, it's going to be, like, for a year. And then it's been, like, a year and a half. So I'm, I'm not going to well, Yeah, they're complain. like, it's till the end of the year. And they're like, oh, it's a full year. And, oh, it's till the end of the summer. And that's where we are now. I don't know when it ends anymore. Oh, Randall says he was up last month. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Mine, mine I'm still getting free shipping. So I don't know if. Yeah, me too. I haven't checked uh, mine. It could be up. I haven't bought anything in a while. I don't know. It still says mine is premium or whatever so uh, yeah i haven't checked it i'm i'm not a big pulse order these days i like to order pulse and then cancel unless they're exclusives i like to order pulse that forget to cancel that's why i have you know two snapdragons now you, instead of you one have to do spreadsheets like i it's just you really too do. many places like, especially Pulse is like, it's so hard to actually, like, if you order a lot of stuff off of Pulse, it's hard to keep track of it all just because it's not it on is. all the same page and all that kind of thing. We'll and my Walmart it. is the same way because they started putting my groceries in on the same list as my online stuff. And so it's it's just a mess. Ew. Wow. Well, I didn't know that about Walmart. Gross. <laughs> I think you, can, you might be able to opt out. I don't know. Well, I think we have talked about other things quite a bit, but in the end, we all um, we all recommended this figure. Yeah. Is that right? There we go. Hey, that's exciting. 
Yeah, we all recommended the trigger. We all agree. One thing I didn't complain about that I could have is I don't like the way the head looks. Ta-da, the end. That's fine. That was that's it. how it looks. Yep. I mean, if a head doesn't look good, update it. That's my, that's oh my lifestyle. No. People would update. be so upset. Oh, I know. You want to hear some upset? Wait till Kingdom comes out. <laughs> there, there you go. We're, we're going to have Yay. like all the reviews up from like... Like it's it's so crazy that we have reviews of figures that like have not actually been announced yet. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So, anyway, uh, well, thank you to everyone in the chat tonight: uh, Randall, Peter, Catherine, Robert, uh, Rick, uh, Ron. Uh, so, thank you guys for uh, you know keeping up with the chat. If you want to. Uh, continue the chat. Join us on our Discord. Uh, link should be up on the Twitter page and on YouTube and whatnot if you haven't joined already. Um, so this is not the week for um, Ouch My Wallet. That'll be next week. Um, but uh, check that out. And then, of course, uh, cut the tape. So we'll we'll see what Rick comes up with this week. It's always fun whenever he drops the videos you know, in my lap to see what what he's cutting the tape on and then maybe Anna's spinoff show cut the crap it needs to happen right we really need right. cut the crap so I could talk about one awful bootleg figure a week be great there there you go so all if right y'all want to complain about leg transformations let's really complain about them <laughs> this one transforms by taking the lower leg off and sticking it on the back Life can wow. be worse, everyone. That's that's fantastic. That, that's a that's a way to do it. So. All right. Well, thanks everyone, and we will see you next week. Bye.